run an event for a group of women to get together and empower and uplift one another out in nature. Being outside makes me feel totally free, I guess. And in a way, I, I feel like the outdoors is like a great equalizer in so many senses, in so many human-made places. We are seen as lesser to men in different industries, in different environments and spaces, but outside, we're kind of all on the same playing ground. You know, it's like you can either make a fire or you can't. You can either set up your tent or not. You can summit that mountain or you can't. Like, it's less about who you are and what your gender is and more about your capacity to do it or your wanting to do it. And so being outside just makes you feel like there isn't any pressure to be anybody but yourself rather than the, that pressure you feel a lot of the time, which is so tied to gender values, so, yeah. So being in nature has been one of my greatest healers. Um, I've been really sick since I was a child, and that meant a real chunk of my life was spent indoors. And so I think just being outdoors, I have the greatest appreciation for every tiny thing, like the leaves and um, any bit of sunshine. Just, yeah, it's so, so healing. Brilliant being out here with a group of women um, has just really opened me up and made me very vulnerable. But yeah, it makes me want to start crying. It's really touched something. I suppose there's some real connections with different things really, really opens you up to stuff, yeah. I think it's fine. My, um, I feel like there's a lot of judgment in all sorts of life in parts of your life and especially as a woman there's it's funny in a way because you know you're too big or you're too small you're too loud you're too quiet you're too uh you're too forceful you're not forceful enough there's so much judgment in everything um I recently experienced proper grief for the first time in my life and it's been surprising me even judgment in that and kind of how you handle yourself and how quickly you're going through the grieving process and when you go into nature, there's no judgment and it's just beautiful. When everyone arrived, like no one really knew each other and what to expect from the day, but we walked together, we laughed, we cried, we focused on the more like spiritual side of things as well, doing journaling and connecting on an emotional level to one another. I think often we feel connected with lots of people in the world that we're living in, especially in the digital world. We feel like we have people around us, but it's very rare that we take the time to like actually connect on an emotional level or a deeper level. And I think being in nature really like strips us back to what's important. Um, and it's that time to just focus and reflect and connect with others in like a really special way. It's like in this outdoor world, it's very much seen that you should look or dress a certain way to be able to do the job. And I think it's really important that we start breaking down those barriers and those stereotypes as much as we can to make people feel safe to express themselves and for people to realize that as long as it's not something that's impacting the safety of yourself or others and you're not causing harm to anyone or anything out in nature that you can just be who you want to be and nature is for everyone it's supposed to be something that we can all enjoy and enjoy for free so the more that we can like break down these barriers and stereotypes and build like a safe community for encouraging people to access those spaces, the more that will help people to rebuild that connection with nature that's kind of been lost, especially in the Western world over the years.